Hi students, today we are going to study about how to deduce Ohm's law. We have studied about Ohm's law. Ohm's law gives a relationship between potential difference and electric current and it is given by V is equal to I into R where R is resistance. We are going to deduce this Ohm's law. For that, when a potential difference V is applied to a conductor, you can see that the free electrons will move with a velocity called drift velocity. And what is the equation for drift velocity? Drift velocity Vd is given by E, E by M into 2. This is the equation for drift velocity. E, charge of electron, E, applied electric field, M, mass of electron and tau relaxation time. Vd represents drift velocity. Then, how can we write this drift velocity in terms of potential difference? For that, we can consider this equation V. V means potential difference. How do we define potential difference? Potential difference is equal to the work done. Work done in order to move a charge from one point to another point. So, it is equal to work. And W, work done, W is equal to force into displacement. <coughs> force into displacement. Here, the force is our electric field and displacement is equal to the length of the conductor. So, you can write potential V in terms of electric field as E into L. So, what is E from this equation? E is equal to V by L. So, you can write electric field as V by L. Okay. So, we can substitute this E here in this equation. So, Vd will become Vd is equal to Vd is equal to E by M E by M What is E? E is equal to V by L So, V by L into 2 is the equation for drift velocity in terms of potential difference V Then, we have studied an equation for electric current. Electric current I is equal to, what is electric current I? I is equal to N E A V D. Last class we have derived this equation. Electric current I is equal to N E A V D. And in this equation, we can substitute this equation for drift velocity. Drift velocity is E V by M L into 2 where capital V denotes the potential difference. So, substitute this equation here. So, electric current I will become I is equal to what is I? N E A what is V D? V D is E V by M L into 2. So, it is equal to N E into E E square A E sorry not E it is tau tau by M L into V is equal to I. Then, here we have I here and V there. So, writing this equation V by I. From this equation we can calculate V by I. What is V by I? V by I is equal to taking all other terms to the other side it will become M L divided by N E square A into 
2 is v by i and we have studied v by i is equal to resistance. So, resistance R is equal to resistance R is equal to ml by n e square a into 2. So, this is this equation because and we know m l n e square a 2 all are constants. So, that is that proves our Ohm's law V by I is equal to R and here R is equal to ML by N e square A into 2.